Hola everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be upgrading my hard drive in my Synology DS220 Plus NAS. And uh, right now, what I have is a 4TB Iron Wolf. I'll be replacing it with a 12TB Iron Wolf Pro. I was able to get it on a very good price. Link in the description field below, especially if you're from the Philippines. I bought it here in the Philippines. The drive came from China, I believe. And yeah, the, the price is really good. And the quality of it, well, some of the comments did say they're, they're able to, you know, verify the, the drive. So I'll take their word for it. Uh, worst case scenario, I can always refund it, right? So yeah. Uh, I'd be installing my drive and first you'd want to go to your storage manager and deactivate deactivate one of the drives first and obviously guys uh, I really hope you've uh, backed your files up to another storage device before doing this and yeah so I'll deactivate drive 2 first action deactivate drive this action will remove drive 2 from the system partition, associated uh, storage pool, volume, and SSD cache. I understand. And OK. OK, the drives have been deactivated. Hit OK. Now, the, my NAS is doing that beeping sound where it's notifying me that it's degraded and okay storage pool on Chris NAS has degraded total number of drives two number of active drives one now and let me close this real quick oh and by the way I have the Synology hybrid raid um, is that what it's called I actually forget um, yeah Synology hybrid raid and I prefer this um, it's actually uh, it will really depend on your preference so anyway this is my uh, raid type and let me just uh, remove the old drive install the new one first and here's a quick video of that uh, be right back so that's uh, so here's a video of me replacing the drive um, I just deactivated it from earlier right from storage manager and I deactivated drive 2 so I'd be removing the second bay there you can see you can tell from the two dots from from where the lever is right so So there you have it and now I'm reinstalling it to the second bay and click it into place there you go and uh, all right now I'm going back to my computer <laughs> so that's there it's uh, currently installed it's an iron wolf 12 terabyte Pro Iron Wolf Pro 12 terabyte one right so I've just inserted the new hard drive and if you guys check here in HDD SSD um, it's healthy so that's pretty good and yep volume one um, this is the my or original pool right so in volume one or in storage pool one uh, click repair now and it asks you for the drive to repair right so it's the second one because it's the new one so it doesn't have data in it so it has to be repaired so I'll choose that one estimated capacity is still 3.6 so hit next and repair more repair mode fast repair yeah sure can we change it no not really and hit apply all the data on the newly added drive will be erased are you sure you want to continue yep all right so this will take a while and uh, be right back as soon as it finishes 
Oh, and uh, by the way, um, before uh, I skip through ahead, um, the the beeping sound you could actually turn that or, or mute that. Go to a control panel, and here in hardware and power, reason for current beep volume is abnormal. Just mute that. All right, so that'll uh, keep things quiet and hit apply no settings are changed yeah so just mute it and it'll silent things down or quiet things down all right and let's see the progress here real quick all right so seven hours and uh seven hours left so it'll take a while so be right back yeah hello so welcome back and Firstly, would like to apologize for the first half of this video. Um, I really didn't expect for the camera to be on. I, I thought I was just making a voiceover over the screen, you know. I, I completely forgot that the camera was on. So anyway, sorry about that. Uh, my, my eyes, my head was all over the place. Anyway, um, if I check my notification here... The system successfully repaired the storage pool 1 19 hours ago. So it's all good now, I believe. Now, if I open Storage Manager. Storage Manager. Where are you? Here. Um, storage pool 1. Volume 1 checked. So that's good. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do yesterday was check the integrity of the drive. So here, drive 2. I wasn't able to, you know, uh, action. No, not that one. How do I check this one here? Health information. There you go. And smart. I could have done a quick test, you know, just to verify things. I won't do it now. I'll do it on the next drive. So this is the second half of the video. Uh, now I'd be installing the second drive. So for some of you who have skipped the video to this last part here, um, or the middle, the second part here, I'd be disabling the other drive because if you check the status of this pool here, uh, 2.3 terabytes, 1.25, 1.2 1 terabyte free, right? So the pool capacity is still stuck in 3.6 terabytes because uh, I'm using Synology Hybrid RAID, right? Uh, right now, I have 3.6 terabytes on the first drive and 10.9 on the second drive. Now, obviously, you can't run a RAID with different uh, size, right? So, it'll use the smallest one. In this case, it's the 3.6 one. And, yeah. Now, um, I'd be disabling the first drive and replace, the, the, replace it with the other 12 terabyte Iron Wolf Pro. All right, so action, deactivate drive, I understand, and hit OK. It's the right one, right? Yeah. OK, I'll just enter my password real quick. There you go. Hit submit. Applying it. All right. Now the pool's deactivated or the drive's deactivated. Now, if you guys saw that, storage pool 1 on Christmas has degraded. So, if we check on the details, details, um, yeah, total number of drives, 2, number of active drives, 1. So, I'd be uh, removing the old drive, replace it with a new one, the 12 terabyte one, and I'd be right back. Here's a quick video of me replacing the other drive. Uh, it'll be on the drive bay 1 now. Yesterday, it was drive bay 2. Or last night, it was drive bay 2. Now, um, yeah, let me replace, replace it real quick. So, here we are again. Pardon the dust, guys, and the noise. Uh, I'll mute this sound uh, later on. Anyway, uh, the amber one here, the, the one with the amber light is drive 1, which obviously is installed in bay 1. So I'd be removing this drive here in bay 1. And yeah, remove the drive, replace it with the new one, reinstall it, and place it back in. 
and clicking clicking it into place and replacing the cover all right so there you have it now that's uh all set up i'll go back to my computer uh perform a quick test uh the the quick smart test you know and repair the storage pool one second so i just installed the drive there and if you guys could see here drive one is healthy and 10.9 terabytes as well so that's good and let me check its health information first unlike what i did last night i'll just perform a quick test and hit start and click ok all right so last test result it's healthy and yeah let me mute uh, to mute in case you missed it in the first part uh, to mute the beeping sound in your NAS uh, that your NAS is doing or making go to control panel and hardware and power reason for current beep volume is abnormal just mute this and it'll quiet the NAS down so uh, now now it's quiet here <laughs> all right now I'd be restoring or repairing my pool uh, I go back to my storage pool one the storage pool has degraded now I will click on repair now and select the drive the new drive which is installed in drive one or bay one and hit next and the operation will expand the storage pool capacity and result in allocated space. If you plan on using a single volume, you can further allocate the capacity to volume 1 and expand it. Expand the capacity of volume 1. Uh, I, me personally, I just like to keep it simple and uh, just have the one volume. Uh, your, your mileage may vary depending on your use case, right? So in my case, it's this one here. And hit next storage pool one fast repair no other option but the fast one so uh pretty good for me and hit apply all the data all the data on the newly added drive will be erased are you sure you want to continue yes i do okay so i'm guessing i'll take another seven or eight hours for this to finish or maybe longer i won't be surprised if it'll take longer because this time it's a it has to expand the volume as well, right? From the previous drive. So I'm not too sure how long this takes. So I guess I'll uh, be right back. All right. So it's taking faster this time. It's only taking six hours for it to finish. So that's surprisingly quick. And yeah, uh, again, be right back. Okay. I'll just wait for this thing to finish. So the repair has completed. 22 hours ago sorry it took me a while and I just finished doing I just finished doing a quick quick uh, smart test on the second drive I installed the the first drive I installed right uh, I wasn't able to do the smart test I did a quick test and it's healthy all right I, I, I I'm guessing I'd be doing the extended test some other time maybe later tonight and for both drives before copying files over right and so there you have it i hope you guys find this video helpful uh this will be helpful for those who'd be changing you know replacing the hard drive maybe because it's broken or something or upgrading like what i did and what else the storage pool let's check the status of it real quick 8.2 terabytes free that'll be uh that's nice uh, i find that really helpful uh at the very least oh and by the way some people might be watching this video because i purchased this from lazada uh on a very good price link in the description field below where i bought it from uh so far so good the packaging was good and the drives working fine the serial numbers match uh yeah uh, as for its longevity I wouldn't know I just got it so uh, maybe I'd be making a follow-up video if it breaks down on me sometime soon uh, anyway that's it for this video I hope again I hope you find this helpful as always see you in the next one